Hello, welcome to Uniflow XP tutorial. Today, we are going to learn how to apply transitions to a list of items. As we mentioned before, we have two kinds of transitions. We have the overlay in and out, and we have the list pagination. The overlay in and out is the one that we use when we are going from in to out in an overlay, or from out to in. But in this video, we're going to see how to apply a transition to any of the items that are contained in my list of elements. So, in order for me to apply this kind of transitions, we have two conditions. The first one is that we need to select a list of items or any of its descendants. And also, we need to enable a pagination filter on a dynamic content list or provider. In this case, in my provider, we have here a pagination filter already added. So if I click on my post, here in my list of posts, I have the possibility to add transitions to any of its descendants. If I remove this pagination filter from the provider and then go back to my list, see that at the moment I'm not available to apply any kind of transitions. So I'll go ahead and come back here and put my pagination filter back. And now let's go ahead and talk about my uh, pagination list transitions. We have two phases. We have the living and the entering phase. The living is when we're going to apply all the transitions to the elements that are leaving the graphics. And when we move to entering, is that we're going to apply a transition to all the elements that are coming into the graphics. So in order for me to apply a transition here, I just need to click anywhere on the timeline. And my default preset is going to be a fade out. I can change that preset on the animation inspector and we have all these available presets. Then I can change its duration from the timeline and also from the animation inspector. We can also change its position or delay from the timeline and also from the inspector. And then if we need to remove a transition, we just click on it and then uh, hit the backspace or delete in our keyboard. Let's go ahead and create a, a simple transition for my list of elements. See that when we're going to the entering, we can also overlap the transitions with the ones that I created in the living phase. And this is all for today. Thanks for watching.